Okay, this is my third time trying to do this because Lola the Libra kitten keeps coming in. So, uh, Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius is the last fire sign in the zodiac. It is ruled by Jupiter, which is the biggest planet in our solar, solar system. Um, and it reflects the light because it's the biggest, the most. Um, Sagittarius's are a centaur. So they're half horse, half human, and they are known to be carrying, uh, and uh, they are archers, so a bow and arrow. Uh, the half human and the half um, animal represents the, the beast, the animalistic beast side, and the highest uh, evolution of humanity, the merging the two together. If you know Sagittarius, you'll probably know they're incredibly blunt. They say exactly what's on their mind. They don't tend to be mean-spirited. They just say whatever they're thinking. So if they, I'll give you an example, um, they may say when you see them, oh my God, you got so fat. Why are you angry? Like, <laughs> what's wrong? Like, they won't get that their bluntness may be, uh, to them, it's just truth. They're speaking a truth. And it's true, sometimes people gain weight. But we as a society, what we consider to be polite or proper is we don't mention it. So Sagittarius's um, don't understand the fact that we have these polite niceties and, and are not really that interested in the polite niceties. Now, if they have Virgo in their chart, like a Virgo moon, they're going to be hardcore perhaps about the politeness at times. Like they'll demand you to have really good manners at the table. Uh, I know this because my mother is a Sagittarius with a Virgo moon. So um, Sagittarius's are the teachers of the Zodiac and they are also the students of life. They love to be free and expansive. They love to travel. So it's really important that um, that's how they learn by traveling. And I love that too. I really enjoy that about them and uh, having Sag in my own chart uh, in my Mars really makes me want to travel the world. And how Sagittarius's connect to learning in that way is when you're in different cultures, my dear Americans that tend not to like to travel as much as the rest of the planet, when you travel to different cultures, you you learn so many different ways of other uh, how other people live, how they experience life, how they think about life, how they are emotionally with each other. There are so many different ways to be. And when we're just in one culture, especially I'll speak to Americans, because our America, the land itself, <clears throat> and it's not America, it's, it's so... Um, I learned that in Europe. They're like, really? Which America? And I was like, ha, huh, that's true. I don't know why we call ourselves Americans when there are actually two Americas, North and South. And, and the United States of America is not Canada or Mexico. And everybody counts. So my fellow Americans uh, from the U.S., I'm speaking directly to you. So when we, when we have a big land mass like the States and we are comfortable in it and we don't travel outside of it, we can be somewhat myoptic about thinking that our way is the only way or the best way. Um, it's when we get outside of our um, country and go to other countries that we may even consider to be poorer than ours, that are poorer than ours monetarily, but richer in so many other ways that we get to grow and learn and expand. And that's gonna delight a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all, are all about immersing themselves into different cultures because they learn, they pick up and learn how uh, the excitement, I mean, it's not even just the, it's everything, it's the foods, it's the language. It's the thought process, uh, how they are emotionally, these other people, these other countries, um, the colors that they see, um, the dialects, there's just tremendous amount, the terrain. So Sagittarius are also very physical. 
they need to exercise. They need to move their bodies. Now, all human beings really should, but Sagittarius is in particular um, really like walkabouts, uh, running, um, getting their blood flowing. That helps clear their minds more. Um, their bluntness may be a little rough for you, um, but typically they don't mean to be necessarily hurtful. If they have other um, other uh, um, specific uh, astrological signs in their chart that took forever to get out of my mind, into my mouth, into my tongue, um, they could be, they can be harsh in their speech, like harsh and cruel if they have a, if I mix the signs with um, Virgo and Scorpio, then they, or even Aries, they could have a, a little bit more mm, punch, a little, little ouch to their punch and on purpose. But typically Sagittarius are not, a, they're not interested in attacking. They don't, they're not interested in holding on to grudges. Um, they may be very fiery, somewhat like the Leo, where they'll get angry quickly, like the Aries, but they're not interested in, in holding on to it. They want to move on and, and explore what else there is. That's very much like a fire sign. What else, what else can I go through my brain? Um, they are, they're really fun adventurers to go on an adventure with. I, I particularly have had uh, experiences with Sagittarius in my life that had a lot of Scorpio in their chart. So um, that combination of a Sagittarius sun and a Scorpio moon, um, clearly that's been in my life a lot that Scorpio moon, thank God. Um, they have been great teachers for me. I know two, three people with that combination in my life. And all three of them, the reason I love that particular uh, combination is when you have that Scorpio that's willing to go so deep and it's very emotional, and then you've got that Sagittarius that has that amazing ability to tell the truth. Like Sagittarius has a very hard time if you're not willing to tell the truth. And they don't like to follow other people's rules if they feel like those rules are um, uh, made to benefit only, they're one-sided. They're made to benefit one group of people. Uh, Sagittarius won't at all agree to that bullshit. They're not interested in that at all. Um, and they will fight against it. They will protest. They will stand up. They will speak up. They will organize protests. <laughs> Um, and they will put themselves on the front line of standing for um, whatever they believe in. Um, and as I was saying about the Sagittarius with the Scorpio moon, this particular, for an example, this particular combination, with that depth of that Scorpio moon, um, being able to really, really connect as deep as they possibly can to the things that other people never want to say out loud. With a Sagittarius sun, those people will be the truth talkers. They will be talking about the things that society has just accepted as what is truth, what is being polite, what is socially acceptable, when they will actually call themselves, starting with themselves, themselves out because they're always learning they're teaching through their being willing to dive within themselves and learn and then they share what they've learned um, it can be really a, quite an amazing sign and they also the other thing that I find quite beautiful about the Sagittarius is they don't have prejudice they don't have because they're always willing to learn um, they don't mm, they don't, they're not attached to skin color or religion or sexuality or whatever other ridiculous thing as human beings that we can make someone less than. <laughs> it seems like we're very clever at coming up with ways to make others less than and ourselves somehow better. Um, but Sagittarius is just don't, they're just, they're like, nope. And I feel really lucky being raised by one Sagittarius because I got to witness that through my mom, who, um, although she was very um, cloistered and growing up, uh, not being around any kinds of different people that she knew of, um, all Episcopalians, some Catholics, 
typically white people in middle America. And yet, as she grew up and traveled to different places and moved with my dad, she, um, she got to be around a bunch of, of different people. And in fact, when we were growing up, had us moved to Massachusetts in an area that was completely mixed with different kinds of people just for that reason. So her kids could be around a bunch of different people. So we could experience all shades of people and every kind of religion was in our tiny little neighborhood. And, um, and I loved that. And when a family member came out in the er early 80s as being gay, they came to my mother first because the Sagittarius doesn't, there is no judgment about any of that stuff where other people would be highly judgmental, especially in those, of those years. So I have a great deal of love and respect for Sages, great deal of respect for Sages. Um, and, the, and been challenged by Sages as well, growing up with one as a mom. Um, and I think that's all I can add to the Sages, those um, expansive firecrackers. I think I'll just say one last thing. Um, they, it's not my experience, actually. I've had an experience with a Sag that was totally dedicated to being in a relationship, but typically Sages, uh, if you try to lock a Sag down, they will run for the hills. <laughs> they will, or put you off. They, they don't want to necessarily feel trapped in any way. They're not, that doesn't, I relate to that having Sag in my chart. I do not like being trapped, although I'm more than happy to trap myself, to trap someone. <laughs> I do not want to be trapped back. <laughs> Maybe that's way too much about me, but there you go. I hope that's helpful. And uh, I'll sh I'm sure to make a short little uh, funny one about the Sages as well, just so you, the people who don't want to watch that long but I hope you're all doing really well, and um, that's it. So if you're interested in doing an astrological chart reading with me, you can go to hudsonlike.com and, um, and go under astrology, and it will give you, a, it will come up with a calendar and days that are free. And um, yeah, I think that's all I have. Okay, have a great day. Mm. Bye.